Hey everybody, it's Luke here from Up North Collectors and today we are doing a huge SGC and PSA submission reveal. Um, we have uh, probably about 175, 200 cards in total here, so should be pretty fun. Um, have a lot of cool stuff to show off. I have quite a few cards in this submission myself. Um, then we have a bunch for other people, obviously, as, as well. And a couple of really, really big cards, including one of the biggest cards I've ever graded. So excited to get into this. Before I start, um, I am partners with SGC. Uh, have all of the best rates on submission for SGC um, with group submission. So check that out if you're interested. They're doing a $15 football special right now that we're offering. So uh, make sure to check that out. Um, we are doing those. The submission forms are on our website. We take in through the mail orders and then taking orders through the store. With PSA as well, we're not official partners, but do bulk submit to them. Um, have extremely competitive rates uh, when it comes to PSA grading. So check that out as well. We're working on getting our spend up with them to become uh, grading partners with them. So that's what we're up to there. So doing a lot of grading with both. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here, make sure to like the video and subscribe um, to the channel. Uh, this is going to be pretty incredible. There's some really, really cool stuff. So let's go ahead and start. Let's start it with a bang. This is some stuff that I graded. Um, this is a big one. So sent this one in uh, to SGC. This is going right into the PC. This is a card that I pulled, was a redemption. I got this out of a blaster of Stadium Club Chrome. Uh, so no way I'm selling this, but decided to save. You know, With SGC, this cost $18. With PSA, this would be a $250, $300 grading fee. Um, so, you know, you know, you might get it squeezed in at $175 if it nines. But anyway, I uh, decided SGC was definitely the right choice. I think it looks awesome. Got the 10 auto uh, on both of them, which is pretty crazy. So very cool card there, numbered out of 10. I was pretty stoked about that. And then I sent in a bunch of stuff to their football special. So sent in some stuff for the shop um, that I will be putting out in store. Uh, a couple of these things might end up on eBay as well, but a lot of this will be for the store. A lot of it's just some cheaper football stuff. Um, uh, you know, a couple of these things were a little disappointing. Was hoping to get nines on a couple of these, but nice Josh Allen rookie uh, with Rosen, Herbert. You know, eight five. You're probably losing money on that fifteen bucks, but hey, it gives me some more slabbed inventory. Nice Josh Allen rookie. They just look cool too uh, in the tuxedos, but did do pretty well on most of it. So I uh, got a Joe Burrow prestige in a nine five a Joe, uh, Josh Allen Rosen in a 9.5, which is cool. And then a bunch of 10s. So we got some nice stuff here. Brady to 99 and a 10. I actually really like this card. I'll, I might end up keeping this one. I got to decide, but that one's pretty sweet. Uh, cool Josh Allen score in a 10. Uh, Jared Goff in a 10. Definitely would be nice. That's the blue press proof as well. So thought that was cool. Uh, I think he's going to have a big year. Oops. thought this card was pretty sick. Mahomes Heroes insert in a 10. thought that was pretty cool. Nice Jonathan Taylor, red die cut in a 10. Herbert, absolute base in a 10. You know, this is probably only a $25 card, $30 card, but if you're only spending 15 bucks to grade it. It definitely makes sense to me. So grade a couple of things like that. I think there's another of these score Josh Allen's hiding somewhere, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just have the one. Uh, but Josh Allen score in a 10. I know I actually have one more of these. Maybe I already showed it. I don't even know, but did I show it? I don't know. Oh, I did show it. Okay, that's why. All right, and then I graded some Pokemon as well. Pokemon with them is only 12 bucks a card, so send in some Pokemon. I uh, got a couple of nines, just some stuff I picked up in shop. I don't really list any of this stuff on eBay. Most of this stuff just goes right back out in shop. Um, these Pokemon slabs tend to sell pretty well, so uh, do some grading there. So not too bad. Did pretty well overall. Super pumped about that Trout Otani, and that'll go right into the safe at home. Excited about that one. Um, but next up here, we've got some really cool vintage for Coach Pat, sent in some awesome stuff. So 80, 78, 79, uh, Julius Irving in a four, 59, Bob Gibson in a six, Nolan Ryan in a five, five, sick card there, Nolan Ryan rookie, and a Carl Yastrzemski in a six, five. I think I've probably created about 30 or 40 Nolan Ryan rookies at this point. Um, and five, five is pretty strong, so that was cool. Nice one here for Peyton. Uh, Peyton is the newest employee at the store, so got this one sent in for him. Nice Kyler Murray in a 9.5, 10. That one went at 15 bucks a card as well. This one was for Baker Sports Cards, Darius Slayton and Josh Allen, both 10, so that was cool. Nice stuff there. This is for Brendan, a local kid here, sent in a Mahomes on campus. He bought for me. That was in the showcase raw, graded it, came back in 9.5, so did very well on that one. Congrats, Brendan. That's cool. And then some stuff for Bradley D. Sent in a few sports here and then some Pokemon. So Joe Montana, 
drip. Russell Wilson, those are very cool. 9.5, nice 10 on Dan Henderson. Um, then some Pokemon stuff, so send in the Umbreon. Uh, obviously, we don't do a ton of Pokemon on the channel here, but Pokemon is very, very popular. Um, you know, SGC, I think, is awesome for grading it. I mean, at 12 bucks a card, you can't really go wrong with a lot of this stuff. I get a lot of Pokemon in for grading with them, so uh, pretty cool. Uh, definitely, I think people are taking advantage of it locally here um, in shop, dropping their stuff off and getting it sent out at, at that $12 price point. So that's been pretty fun. Nice Brock's grit in the 10. So some solid grades there for Bradley. So some cool stuff. And then final stack here of SGC. Here we go. We've got this one for Hunter. Nice. Micah Parsons and a nine. That one's pretty cool. And then these are for Andrew H. Sends in a lot of Jordans. So Jordan, Jordan. Nice Cade Cunningham, pink ice and a 10. Those are tough. Pistol Pete in a 10. And Crunch Time, John Jones in a nine. So not bad there. Uh, nice one for Mr. Griswold. He is working on the 68, well, yeah, he is the complete 68 game set, but is working on getting all of the Hall of Famers uh, graded. So this one came back a six, which is right in the range that he's looking for. So that's pretty cool. Um, has been collecting some of those sets. So that's always awesome to see some of that stuff come in. These ones were sent in for Brendan. Uh, some more Pokemon. As you see, Pokemon SGC, pretty popular. I'm back at three. It's kind of tough. Nine, eight, and a six there. So some cool stuff. And then these ones were for Eric and Mark. I forget whose is whose. I just put them together, but um, they have some stuff here. They always come in, drop off, pick up each other's stuff together. So uh, a couple of Otanis there. Top Snails. Those are pretty cool. Nice Palo and a nine. Uh, LeBron and an eight. Oh, three or four tops. Impact Otani, nice J Dom and a 10, Boba Shett and a 9, Josh Allen and a 5, and a Jeter and a 9. So some solid stuff there for Eric. So that does it for SGC. Now into PSA, and we're going to get right into this with a bang. This is for Marty G sending this card. This is the biggest card I've ever graded with PSA. This was pulled out of a case of Optic Tom Brady Gold Downtown. They pulled this, one of my customers hit this card. Pretty sick card, number to 10, Tom Brady, gold downtown. Just incredible looking. So sent that in, cleaned it up for him, got a 10 on it. So pretty stoked about that. Um, definitely a big one. We'll be posting this all over. Pretty incredible card. Um, very few 10s of this. So excited to see what that one does. Uh, but very, very cool. So congrats there uh, to Marty and Charlie. That one is awesome. And then some other big stuff right away. This is for Dennis D. Set in a 2000 UD Gold Reserve Tom Brady, number 2500. Came back in eight, so that was a big one. Uh, nice card there. And then for Kaysen, he sent in two. Uh, nice Tom Brady Bowman in a seven. And then a Purdy Genesis in a nine. So a couple of nice things there. Not too shabby. All right, next up for Chip R. Let's see here. Try to get all these in one go. I don't think I did, though. Uh, so for Chip and Harrison. We've got Wander in a nine, a nice Miggy in a nine, top scrum black, J-Rod 22 archives in a nine, Wander platinum or silver, sorry, to 99. That came back a PSA nine. Aaron Judge greatest hits in an eight, Julio Destiny in an eight, Julio archives in a nine, Wander uh, update in a nine, Wander holiday in a 10. And then uh, Wander Next Wave in a 10. Wander Archives in a 10. A Swift Green Velocity in a 10. And then a Julio 87 in a 10. So not too terrible there for you guys. Some cool stuff. Next up, I've got some stuff that I sent out here to PSA. This is all Otani's. I was actually walking in the stores one lot. I was actually pretty disappointed in this. Um, I thought some of these should have graded higher. Um, so I was a little bummed out, but... Uh, you know, that's how it goes. Uh, we got a 10 here, 10 on this one, 10 on the Heritage. These will all be for sale, I think. I don't think I'm going to keep any of these. These will all end up on the eBay store um, in, in shop. And then sent in and got some nines as well. So a couple of Heritage nines, Archives nine. You know, this one was off-centered. I understand that. I knew that was going to nine. Um, but a couple of these I thought were a little better than, than nines, or at least close. Raffi in a nine. 
uh, 83 and a 9, and then a New Age. So, you know, not terrible overall, but was hoping for a few more 10s there. Uh, but those are ones with Otani, I'm okay with just sending, rolling the dice, and, and seeing what happens. So, uh, not too mad there. Um, this is for Luke and Gray. They sent in a bunch of Bengals stuff. So, I got some cool stuff here. Burrow field level and a 10. Jamar field level and a 10. Jordan Love field level red die cut and a 10. That's pretty sweet. Uh, nice Jalen Waddle and a 10. Jamar Chase and a 9. Jamar Chase and a 9. Jordan Love, Red Hot Rookies and a 9 there. A nice Kenneth Walker Mosaic Playbook and a 10. Gold Team Burrow and a 10. That's pretty cool. The Omega Burrow and a 9. I like that rookie. Uh, field Level Silver, Second Year Burrow and a 10. Next Wave Rookie and a 10. Absolute Rookie. And a 10. I thought this card was cool. Numbered to 25 Youth Movement Burrow and a 10. That's probably a nice low pop there. Uh, red, white, and blue draft picks and a 9. This is cool too. Red to 99 and a 10. And then from Contenders Draft, a uh, blue explosion out of 99 and a PSA 9. So some pretty solid stuff there on all those bangles, minus a couple of non bangles, but pretty much all bangles. Um, these ones were for KCM. Sent these in, did very well. Uh, Otani and a 10, Acuna and a 10, had two batting Otanis, both came back 10s, which is sweet, and then had two pitching Otanis, one in a 10 and one in the 9, actually got the same thing as me, so uh, not too shabby there. Next up, these are for Craig, sent in four cards, pretty well on these, Julio Purple and a 9, nice T-Law Blue Disco and a 10, that card is pretty sick, uh, very, very cool like that one. Uh, Julio SP in a 10, another sweet one. And Wander Gold in a 10. Uh, this was value bulk, by the way. I didn't mention that. So SGC uh, was a mix. These were all value bulk. So at $21 a card, um, they came back in about eight weeks is what it took in total. Uh, besides the first three, these ones, this was uh, like 600 some dollars. And these other ones were regulars at 75 a piece. So um, that's where those ones went. Uh, just so you guys know, and those other ones came back very quickly. Um, these ones took a lot longer, but here's Casey, uh, nice lava. Yeah. So these took about eight weeks, give or take eight to 10 weeks. Um, the SGC stuff came back in two weeks. So yeah, pretty quick on SGC compared to PSA. That's the biggest advantage, I think, in my opinion for SGC. I really like the look of their slabs too, but yeah, uh, Giratina and a nine for Jeremy. One in for Charlie, uh, blue reactive and a 10. And so this is what amazed me about the submission. Uh, I've graded a lot of 90s before, and usually 80s and 90s, and usually just get destroyed. Um, usually it's really tough, but this was impressive. So this is all pretty much 80s and 90s um, for John L, and he crushed it. Uh, Julius Irving, 86 Fleer, and an 8. Ewing, and a 9, which is sweet. Kareem, and a 9, which is also sweet. Um, you know, I thought this was going to 8 just because of the centering, but, you know, I mean, hey, not going to complain. Uh, Carl Malone in an eight. Because, yeah, I mean, to me, the centering on this compared to this doesn't look that much different at all. So, anyway, interesting. Uh, Moses Malone in a nine. But there's one card in here that totally shocked me. Uh, Jordan Fleer in a nine. All-Stars in a six. Sticker, that's pretty normal in those. Uh, 88 Fleer Barkley in an eight. Nice 88 Fleer sticker in a seven. Jordan. Dion in a nine. This next one is what shocked me. Check this out. PSA 10, 89 score Barry Sanders, freshly graded. I mean, there's a little tiny bit of weight on that corner, but other than that, this card's clean, but man, you just never get tense on these. So was stoked to see that. Um, really stoked, actually. That's that's pretty incredible. So big hit there. That's a, that's a banger. That was pretty awesome. Uh, Elway in an eight. That was nice too. 88 Fleer Jordan in a PSA nine. That's a big card. So that was pretty awesome too. Um, definitely was a little more lenient on some of these vintage, which I'm okay with. It's cool. Uh, All-Star Jordan in an eight and Barkley in a six. So overall, pretty nice return there. Got lots and lots of cool stuff back. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite card was out of this one. Some very, very cool stuff there. Again, want to thank you all for sending in your cards. If you're interested in sending some stuff in for grading, email us at uncgrading at gmail.com. That will be linked down below. Our website will be linked down below with all the info that you need to submit cards to us. Uh, sending out every single Tuesday, we're sending submissions to both PSA and SGC, so make sure to check it out. If you have any questions, shoot me an email uh, or an Instagram DM, Facebook message, whatever. We'll get back to you right away. So thank you. I really appreciate it, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.